So we're gonna check inside uh, oh, to see how it's made because I'm pretty curious. So as you know, I struggle to make uh, my own uh, uh, arcade uh, joystick, arcade PCB uh, jo uh, to, uh, to make it work with uh, the PS3. So here uh, they have a system that work on both uh, PS3 and Xbox 360. So it means uh, that they have a way to uh, interface with uh, the Xbox, which is, uh, uh, as you may not know, the uh, USB protocol for the device on the Xbox is encrypted, so you can't put any uh, standard uh, joystick on the Xbox and it just doesn't work. It works on the PS3 because uh, PS3 accepts any standard uh, USB uh, device. Well, not any, but any joystick uh, st standard device. The only thing that won't work is uh, the home button, so it requires a little trick. But here, uh, they have both uh, Xbox and uh, PS3. So uh, we're going to check inside, see uh, how things are done. So, as uh, you can see, we have a physical switch to go from one to the other. So I suspect that inside we have two sets of circuits, one for the PS2 uh, PC and one for the Xbox. And this uh, switch activates one or the other. Uh, that's a hack. Uh, a lot of people do uh, to get um, the joystick working on both systems. So they basically take a PS3 PCB and the Xbox PCB, put the two into the joystick and just switch from one to the other. Uh, th that I think it's something like that. Maybe uh, the two systems are put in one physical board instead of having two, one, two. But uh, I can expect something like this. Uh, another thing also maybe uh, that can happen is uh, there's a new device uh, that you can find on uh, the coming. Uh, I think it's available uh, no, it's, uh, it's a PCB called uh, PS360 PCB which uh, works for both PS3 and uh, 360, obviously. Uh, but it works, uh, it detects automatically uh, where you are at um, and uh, switch the, the protocol from one to the other. And this board uh, embed a particular chip uh, that is used to uh, crack the encoding. So I'm curious to see if uh, we're going to find this chip inside this board or if they reuse some uh, legitimate uh, Microsoft products. So let's get this thing open and see uh, what it's made of. Yeah, funny thing you see, uh, this is a warranty uh, sticker, but it's stick on velvet, so it doesn't stick at all. So you can just easily remove it with a tearing it. So yeah, done. No. Take it over there. Yeah, it's not trippy enough, so it's my warranty still okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We got it open. Pretty nice. Now let's see what it looks inside. Let's get into the light. Uh, yeah, wiring is very clean. Here's the front panel. It's very simple, just some contact buttons. Everything is on the board. See the contacts. Everything is very nice, can be switch pretty easily and cleanly. You can change buttons easily. Everything is pretty standard. Sanwa. It's pretty nice. So and here's the board itself. So yeah. I don't know if I will be able to catch some sale numbers. Yeah, but I'm gonna uh, look at this more closely and uh, Check out if I can find some data sheets for for these little uh, components. 
Okay, I look uh, more closely, I did a few research and uh, I found uh, something, uh, some quite in interesting uh, things. So first, uh, let me show you a bit in details. So here you see the main uh, components. So let's try to get it uh, properly in video. So here that's it, you can see uh, it's named line uh, under tech. So uh, I did a search uh, for this cheap and nothing came up uh, on internet. So uh, uh, I guess it's a classic uh, microcontroller, uh, maybe an ARM because it's what's usually used for this uh, kind of applications, but. Uh, there are absolutely no way to find any kind of information about this component or the company uh, uh, that built it. So, uh, if you find anything about it, if, we, if it rings any bell, so let me know. But uh, that that's pretty weird. I think they they found this part from some weird ass supplier from I don't know somewhere in the middle of. Uh, Indonesian forests, something. So, and the very interesting thing is this little companionship. So everything, every information has been stripped uh, from this little guy. If you look at another board, uh, this one, it's a, a Datel board. It also works uh, on uh, P, uh, P, PS3 and uh, 360. And uh, it's basically composed with a main uh, R, uh, ARM processor uh, and a companion chip. Uh, so we really can't see it here, but this companion chip is, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same one we have on, uh, on the, uh, the board I have. So we can see it on this picture because of the poor quality of my phone, but this one is actually uh, labeled. It says uh, Ro it's developed by Row Science and it has a uh, serial number uh, XB101. So it turns out if you look about Row Science, the company exists. It's uh, yeah, you can see it's a division of data uh, which is uh, specialized in uh, reverse engineering. So it makes sense that this chip is actually built by Datel itself, uh, who reverse engineers the uh, Xbox protocol to make a chip that works on itself. So I'm pretty sure that the same chip used from the for the um, PS360 and uh, over, but I can't find any. A clear picture to confirm, but here and for the ah yeah, you can see a little here. Well, very hard to see, but uh, yeah, believe me, you can search also on the forums. You can see some other people confirm this information, but yeah, that seems to be this companionship built by Ro Science is the one that is able to crack the uh, Xbox 360. Yeah. Encryption. Yeah, same. It's exactly the one we have here. This so have the same number, the same pin count, etc. But uh, everything information has been stripped out. So basically, uh, instead of having two separate uh, uh, circuit like I uh, thought, uh, we have something very similar from. Uh, the Dettel and the PS360 board with uh, uh, one microchip doing the work and one component microchip to uh, decode the encryption. And so it means uh, there's really no reason uh, to um, use a switch. Uh, I guess they are the problem where well, they try to develop the firmware to find a technique to detect uh, from the software 
which uh, PS3 or Xbox 360 we were connected to, but uh, and they had to rely on a switch to to, to tell it. But uh, I guess um, it's possible to update the firmware and use the same trick every other um, board used to to detect uh, automatically which one you want. And uh, I think it could be uh, a, maybe a future update for the firmware. Anyway, or th could be something pretty nice to to hack. But again, if we have no information on that chip, there's absolutely no way to be able to develop a custom firmware to hack anything. So that's pretty much a, a pity. But uh, anyway, it's still possible to unsolder this companionship. I tried to uh, to use it. Of course, there's no documentation for, for it uh, on the web, but uh, anyway, despite the fact it has, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 16 pin or something, it seems there's only very a few numbers and we are, which are actually used. You can see maybe 1, 2, yeah, maybe 3 or 4 pins. So I guess the protocol web must be fairly simple, maybe there's something that can be done on, on this but uh, yeah, maybe it's possible to reverse engineer this which was rever uh, itself a reverse engineering of the Xbox and get to the core of the Xbox protocol but yeah, that's, that's a stretch, I, I don't know and that's not something I intend to do now because, uh, you know, I already have. Um, uh, just, I intend to keep this joystick functional <laughs> to be able to play it. Uh, yeah, maybe it's something I will do once I get my own joystick up and running. But who knows? Uh, one little thing I found also is this hack here. Yeah, you can see this kind of. Uh, to the um, connection possible for this little guy so maybe I guess we can switch um, the mode of the board depending on this, this. yeah but again it's just a guess and um, yeah you can see some indication that yeah look at this soldering it's all over the place yeah good thing that <laughs> these pins were supposed to be connected together because uh, now they, they are yeah and yeah something I saw see this test pin which uh, yeah test pad with it de it's dedicated pin so I'm pretty sure this one is a uh, serial port so it may be interesting to uh, to probe it and see what comes out so um, could be funny not sure if there's another pad to use to switch the board in debug mode. Maybe that's what this thing is for, but uh, yeah, again, that's just speculation. Um, yeah, well, that's pretty much for it. For, for, for the two of the, the internal of this Quan Quaban uh, joystick. Uh, I think there's quite some hack that could be done with it and but yeah again with a very few documentation with the unusual very unusual component it's very very hard to uh, to be able to to tell what's possible or not but anyway I think there's potential in it but uh, yeah <laughs> again I won't get into it for for sure I think you have more chances to to hack from the Datel on the PS360 which use legit ST uh, I think it's Atmel also uh, components so those one is really well documented and easy to work with but uh, yeah that's it for this little guy here I hope you yeah, he enjoyed the too and uh, learned a few stuff and uh, well See you next time, bye! Yeah, it's all back together and don't forget to put the warranty stick back. Yeah, there.
brand new.